Hello my friends, Clara Parks from the Wool Channel, back with another wool short. Today we're going to talk about wool and the sun. And if you think there's no connection, think again. While we do benefit from some exposure to sun in order to help our bodies generate vitamin D, too much exposure to sun can lead to skin damage, premature aging, and increased risks of skin cancer. Now, for a long time, we've assumed that as long as we cover ourselves up with clothing, the skin underneath would be protected as well. But it turns out that's not entirely the case. With any fabric, some of the rays will be reflected off of it, some will be absorbed, and some will be allowed to pass through reaching your skin. This realization has led to another acronym, UPF, or Ultraviolet Protection Factor, which tells you how much UV radiation in both UVA and UVB that a fabric will allow to reach your skin versus how much it will block. Here in the U.S., clothing must have a UPF of 30 to qualify for the Skin Cancer Foundation's seal of recommendation. And now a UPF of 30 allows 1 30th of the sun's radiation to reach your skin. The 30 to 49 UPF range is considered very good, while 50 or over is considered excellent. A shirt with a UPF rating of 50 essentially blocks 98% of the sun's UV rays. Awesome! So let's all just wear UPF 50 clothes and be done with it, right? Well, not so fast. First of all, you don't always know the UPF rating of your clothes. It's rarely listed except among outdoor retailers or companies that specialize exclusively in clothing that provides UPF protection. And very often their clothing will be made from fibers derived from petroleum, usually polyester, that have been treated with UV absorbing finishes or brightening agents that will wear off over time. And now, unfortunately, petroleum derived fibers like polyester are notoriously bad at helping the body regulate its internal temperature. They don't breathe. And if there's one time you do need help regulating your body's temperature, it's when you're out in the sun, right? Gosh, if only there were a fiber that was really, really good at thermal regulation and also had a built-in ability to protect our skin from UV radiation. I wonder... Yes, you guessed it. Right off the sheep, wool fibers are able to absorb radiation from across the UV spectrum. And depending on the density of the fabric or how it has been treated or finished, woolen fabric usually has a UPF of between 20 and 50. And that's according to the International Wool Textile Organization. Has anyone tested this? Why, yes. So there was a famous study conducted in 2001 in which 236 spring summer apparel fabrics were spectrophotomerically tested. And at the time, the European Union standard for UPF protection was 30. It has since been raised to 40. But even then, more than half of the fabrics tested fell below the UPF 30 standard. Now, 100% of the linen samples fell below 30. Almost 79% of the cotton samples fell below 30. Nylon fared very poorly, with more than 62% of the samples barely even hitting a UPF of 10. And more than 40% of the viscose fabrics had a UPF of, oh, now let me check my notes here, zero. Meanwhile, every single pure wool fabric that was tested scored 40 or higher with more than 72% topping a UPF of 50, far surpassing the US standards and the EU standards for UPF protection. Now for some caveats. Obviously, the denser the fabric, the better the protection. Knitted fabric like t-shirts, the more you stretch the fabric, the less protection you're gonna have. And the nature of the dye stuff that was used and the amount still present on the fabric can also impact the protection, usually but not always, making darker fabrics more effective at protection. And finally, once that fabric is wet, your protection decreases. Let's talk about heat for a minute, because a common misconception with wool is that it is a warm fiber for cold weather. But a more accurate description of wool would be that it is an excellent insulator, no matter what the climate. And just as we rely on insulation to keep our homes warm in the winter and cool in the summer, we can trust wool to do the same for our bodies. Then there's the issue of moisture. Wool's hydrophilic core makes it extremely good at absorbing any ambient moisture. It can absorb up to 30% of its weight in moisture before ever feeling wet. What that means is that the wool is going to be constantly absorbing sweat as it comes off of your body to keep you comfortable. So the next time you go to the beach, don't forget your hat, your sunscreen, and your wool. Not only will it keep you cool and dry, but it'll also keep your skin safe and healthy. And there you have it. 
This has been another Wool Short for the Wool Channel. I'm Clara Parks. Thank you for watching.